Today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. We're going to be dissecting some model rockets and seeing what's inside of them. And eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to combine the powder from multiple rockets and make our own even bigger rocket and hopefully not blow myself up in the process. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys would probably enjoy that if it happens. So I'll be sure to include that part as well. So what we've got here is a good old Rattler rocket. Basically what this does is just make an awful screaming sound when you light it. And we'll try and work out why it is. And then after it does this good old screaming effect and launches off in the air, it does a few crackles. So we'll see if we can figure out which pit's which. I think we'll just remove this part first. Get rid of the casing. And look at that. I put it on some paper here so it's easy to pick up after the contents spill everywhere. So we've got our trusty old razor here. Let's slice it open and see what comes out. Huh. First we might try just taking this off and seeing what's going to hang out. I imagine this part would be the part that does the nice crackling spark at the end. Huh. It's got a few nice balls in here to probably make the nice sparkling effect when it explodes afterwards. So I think we'll pour this out into here. And there's not that many to be honest. It's a nice little collection. Now let's set one of these off just to see what it's like. Now I've got a few bottles here to store everything else in for the time being for when we can make our own extreme combined rocket of all the junk parts and hopefully not die in the process. Oh jeez, one of them cracked. Oh shit. This is why we wear safety glasses. Oh well that was pretty cool. So we've got a fair few of those left to play with for later. So let's continue on. And see what's inside the rest of this rocket. Oh, that's a bit hard right there. Ah. It's like a Russian doll, this thing. Never ending layers. Wow, that's a lot more boring than I expected. So that must be our main fuel that makes the horrible screaming sound. We'll get some of that out. That's quite nice, that's just like a little wad of paper to hold the fuse in. That's pretty interesting. Just from assuming how rockets worked, I thought that the fuse ran up through the powder and burnt it, but obviously the powder burns well enough. All it needs is a little tiny spark and it'll set the whole thing off. So that's pretty... For this whole rocket, it looks pretty big. But there's only about this much of actual fuel and that much of just like the little crackling at the end. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, so got our nice fuse, better keep those. As in Australia, we can't actually buy fuses for whatever silly reason because they're too dangerous, you know? Guns and all that sort of stuff. That doesn't matter if it fuses. That shit's, that shit's just whack. So we'll keep that one later and I'll Another one of these little tubs. I think first, we'll just burn a little tiny, tiny bit. Make sure it's not on my fingers when I set it the light. Don't particularly want to be suffering burn wounds today. Got our nice little crucible. And this is why we put it on some bits of paper. Makes it a lot easier to deal with than trying to sweep it up. It's a fair bit. It'll be interesting to see if this stuff makes the screaming sound when it's out of the rocket. Just like that. I think first, I might just put a little bit in here. Just try a little tiny bit, some hard stuff. See how that goes. Oof. <laughs> no sound at all and that was pretty interesting. But there was a huge amount of smoke and I've got to show you that. So I better just do this again. Come on, we gotta go. It's all or nothing. Make sure we have all of our, probably not the best idea 
to have my giant box of fireworks sitting right here so probably best to remove that out of the way and we've got a little friend that's hiding underneath our box oh I can see some legs almost stuck my fingers in that <laughs> that would have been a nice surprise beautiful hiding under there in this nice safe space <laughs> yep oh better look out for that Okay, you ready for this? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Straight into my face. Damn, that was a hell of a lot of smoke. That's pretty cool though. It didn't make any sound at all when you light one of these rockets normally. It makes a hell of a sound. I suppose that's because it's burning so fast out of the small area. It makes that good whistling sound. Just like when you're whistling through a small hole in your mouth. Okay. I can't help myself but just do one little bit more just to have another go at that amazing ninja smoke. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Such an amazing amount of smoke comes out of such a small amount. It burns so fast. Make some pretty good fireworks out of this I reckon in the future. Thank you guys for watching me dissect one of these rattler rockets. I thought it was pretty interesting. I never actually knew how they made all those sparks come out at the end and the screaming sound is obviously just because they packed a hell of a lot of fireworks inside of such a small little hole and it creates that nice whistling sound. So that was pretty cool. And hopefully in the end we can put all the bits together to make our own homemade rocket. That does sound pretty damn dangerous. I reckon it'll probably fail on launch or just simply blow up or... Maybe after a couple goes we'll be able to get one that actually flies. Make one mega rocket. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya.